Why does Allah talk about beautiful women in heaven? People make fun of that. Oh, you women, you, 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 you're heaven and you're maidens in paradise. Or you're gonna get these, these maidens that, that are gonna be your female servants. Ah, what a perverted version of heaven y'all got. <laughs> you know? What do they call them? Uh, concubines. <laughs> these, these Muslims are going to have their concubines in heaven. Okay, let's talk about that a little bit. Is it a fact that men, as they are right now, is there psychological, are there endless psychological studies on this, that what men constantly think about every few seconds? Is there any doubt? No. There isn't any doubt. There isn't any confusion in the world of psychology and in human history about what men are obsessed with. زُّيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاء But our religion, please listen to this part carefully, our religion, Islam, does it tell men to control their urges? Does it tell men to control the way they, where they look? Who they interact with? Who they befriend? who they become casual with, who they can be alone in a room with, with a closed door. Does, our, does our Islam do that? Does any other religion, does any other religion curb your interaction with the opposite gender the way Islam does? No other religion in existence limits the casual interaction, casual friendship, you know, this kind of companionship between men and women like Islam does. None. None. There are so many protective measures in Islam because Allah knows men are obsessed with women. So this young man goes to college in Wisconsin and he goes to college in Pennsylvania and he goes to college in S at SMU or UT Dallas or UT Austin. Are there girls all around him? Are they dressed provocatively? Is he a man? Does he, does he have hormones? Does he have attraction towards women? He does. But is he a believer? Yes. So he keeps putting his eyes down. I'm not going to look. I know she looks beautiful, but I'm not going to look. If I was someone else, I would have looked, but I'm not going to look. I know she's looking at me, but I'm not going to look back. I know she's trying to ask me if I want to be her lab partner, but I'm not going to respond. I'm going to hold myself back. I'm going to hold myself back. Is dad and mom going to be there when you hold yourself back? No. You're doing this all on your own. And you keep telling yourself, nope, 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 nope. But how long are you going to tell yourself no? How long are you going to, how long are you going to fight it? I was watching an Arab TV show where a guy was talking about temptation. Because some, some Arab kid came to like, uh, his parents sent him to America to go to college. And he's like, I can't help myself. You know, I'm just, I have a lot of girlfriends. Like, and he doesn't mean like people he goes to Starbucks with to have a coffee. He means girlfriends. And the sheikh asks, why do you have that? He goes, what do you expect me to, I'm standing in the rain, you expect me not to get wet? You, you, you put butter in a frying pan and the heat is on and you expect it not to melt? And he's coming up with all these analogies which are pretty epic analogies, like how long are you going to hold on? How long are you going to hold on? How long are you going to hold on? How are you going to stop yourself? Do most men stop themselves? Frank question, do most men stop themselves? No. Are most young men able to withhold the urges? No. Do they cross the line? Yes, they do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his incredible Quran told the young man, hold on, I got you covered. I got you. You know all the stuff you deprived yourself of? All the times you held back? I'll take care of you. I'll, I got you. You missed out on nothing. I'll take care of you. He knows what he created. And he knows what he's asking this human being to do, to hold himself back from these urges. So he will respond. And it gave the young man relief to know that Allah knows what I'm going through. I need a really beautiful woman in my life. And Allah says, I'll give it to you in Jannah. Even if you don't get one in this world, I'll give you one in the next world. 